Hey everyone, Andrew Myers at Myers Testing Equipment. Today, we're gonna to be going over how to put together your Type B pressure air meter. Stay tuned. First up in the process, we're gonna take our needle valve seat gasket, place it into the seat assembly. Then we're gonna take the top half of that seat assembly and place it on top. We're gonna to be tightening it down with a half inch wrench, making sure there's still a small hole in that gasket for air to be released down. Take your chamber gasket, place it into the lid assembly. Now we'll move on to the petcocks, placing a little dab of super lube on there just to make the tightening process go a little bit smoother. The super lube also does help to create a nice tight seal when pressure is being dumped into the bucket. We're gonna hand tighten our petcocks on first and after that we can use a wrench or a socket set to tighten them down fully the rest of the way. From there we're gonna take our chamber, put some more super lube on those threads, again to help it get seated properly and to help that seal so no air leaks out. We're gonna hand tighten it down, making sure we get a nice tight seal against that gasket that we put in there earlier. Once that's done, we're gonna take the chamber cap, put our second gasket on that cap. Here we're cutting off an old gasket on the needle valve stem and placing it on a new gasket. These needle valve stem gaskets can be a little bit finicky at times, so take your time and stretch it over the top and then you can roll it down the needle valve stem with your fingers. Once that's complete, we put on the needle valve spring, put the needle valve stem assembly through the center hole, and then we're going to super lube the inside of our chamber threads as well. Again, it's all about keeping that nice tight seal. Hand tighten on the cap, And once that's hand tightened, we're gonna be taking our chain wrench, putting it around the chamber cap to get a nice, tight, firm seal on the entire assembly. Here you can see we're tightening the chamber just enough so that the 45 degree elbow sits between the two clamp assemblies. This will ensure that your air meter sits firmly and flush into the case. Next, we're gonna be putting on our super pump. Here we're using a half inch wrench, some nice downward pressure to get it seated firmly first, and then continually turning clockwise until it is firmly flush to the top of the cap. From there, we'll take our bleeder cap and just hand tighten this one on to the threads. This does not have to be used with any type of wrench as you wanna get this cap off in the field when bleeding air. Next, we'll be taking our air meter gauge, putting a little bit of super lube on there just to get it going. This one, you wanna make sure you're hand tightening just so you feel a little bit of back pressure then taking your 7 8 and 3 quarter inch wrench to tighten the rest of the way. From here, we're gonna be checking our pressure, making sure everything is holding fine. We're gonna be pumping up to our IP of three, tapping the gauge a few times just to make sure we have a nice tight seal before going any further. Looks like we do. So here, we're gonna be putting on the needle valve assembly on the top. First start with that spacer, then our lever, then we're gonna be putting on the needle valve nut. Here we're gonna be using our half inch wrench and the flathead screwdriver to get that seated properly. This is very important as you don't want to let air bleed out and push that needle valve too high up out of the seat. So that's how you put together your Type B pressure air meter. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Our number here is 888-293-2121 or shoot us an email at sales at myerstest.com. We'll see you next time.